Let me tell you something, son. No. Do you like golf? No. Good, good. Well, today, you're not listening to me, are you? Today, I decided to bring you out to this beautiful bridge so that we could watch some championship level golf. All right, dad, you, you got me. I, I'm actually struggling to figure out how you're going to fit golf into wanton destruction. Don't underestimate me, my boy. Anyway, look down there. You're gonna notice a would-be thieving scumbag running away from the police. Just just look down there. Once we get the secret stolen formula to the public, all of Beam MG can be cured of pain and sadness. Uh-huh, okay, I'm, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Well, if you look over here to our left, son, you're gonna see the golf course that the police are escorting the scumbag to. Dad, what even is that? Retribution, my son. Retribution. Don't look away. Dad, both the police cars just got obliterated. The bad guy's gonna get away. Is he, son? Maybe you should look a little bit closer. And that, son, is why you should never drink and drive. Please stop taking me places. Hello, everybody, Grace Boys. We're back with more Beam NG Drive. Out here on the bridge to nowhere, it's a great level playing field for sports, such as golf. So, something I haven't really messed with yet, it's been out for a while, is the giant sledgehammer. Now, one giant sledgehammer is fine, but a gauntlet of giant sledgehammers is even better. There's another thing as well, there's the ability to make caravans filled of what is essentially my favorite prop in all of BeamNG, which is the travel trailer because of how much crap is inside of it. You can hook an infinite, well, you know, a finite, but it just depends on how much you're willing to struggle to accomplish this, amount of trailers together and watch as they get absolutely devastated by the Gauntlet of Sadness. Now, the Gauntlet of Sadness is spaced, so it is possible for vehicles to get through my gauntlet in one piece. Is it going to happen? Probably not. We're gonna give it a shot though with some tiny cars, some fast cars, some really beefy cars, and then yes, eventually, because one viewer keeps asking, I'm even going to attempt to navigate this with a plane. First up though, we have the Flabbergast family. They're wanted for shooting spitballs filled with smallpox at people. Let's see how they do. All right, there they are. Everyone's running down the road, but you can see my police are kind of trying to to do the old intervention maneuvers over here. Looking looking pretty good as well. You can see right there, just trying to overtake them. Just the front of the vehicle got shaved off. Oh my god. The other car managed to uh, squeak on through. So one of the one of the family got taken care of, but look at how everyone else is just eking their way through the hammers of justice. All oh, the hammers of justice just claimed a victim. Totally gone. That one car, it's a home run. That is a Greg Norman level hit. If ever I had seen one. These sledgehammers used in this fashion are absolute destroyers of vehicles. And it, it's always good, like I said, you know, to, to drive a car into a sledgehammer. But my thought was, is there anything that could take the level of punishment necessary to make their way through this? You could see. Even even just a uh, even just a regular police vehicle can try and struggle a little bit. How you guys doing over here? I hate you, Gray. Good. Let's go back to it then. Let's look at it from inside of the uh, the car. This is how freaky it would be. It's a convertible too, so it's it's possibly even a little bit more scary like this. But uh, you can see it's all about timing, man. When you see that hammer come down right there, you're probably good. Yes, yeah, you right ahead of you. If it comes down like right now, we're gonna make it. We're gonna be, <laughs> oh my God, the police car got trout. Okay, doing good. We're making it, we're doing it, man. We're, we're for, oh, both the police cars are gone. We're for real doing it. This may be it. I, I made it so that, like I said, it is possible to get through. You really have to watch your timing. But, oh, our family member just got destructicated. This is it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. First one ever, no! <laughs> Well, look 
Look at this time-space continuum of destruction. Ah, Stephen Hawking would be proud. All right, we've given up the regular police cars and I've got the bomb squad going now. The bomb squad is tough. So they're easily going to be able to take a hit. Let's see how well my family's doing. The family's doing pretty good over there. They're doing all right. Now the first bomb squad vehicle gets through, second one gets through as well. We're seeing, ah! well, we're seeing an insta-death over there in the, uh, the top of the screen because someone got obliterated. But over here, look at that. I think our last car is gonna get through. Oh no, the bomb squad just got wrecked. They did just get wrecked, but we did have one full vehicle make it on through and there's the other hit. Like I said, it doesn't turn to tissue paper like the other cars do, but it hurts. When this thing gets hit, it freaking hurts. But let's give it up for the one vehicle that managed to make it through the gauntlet of pain somehow. Is this Is this car stopped? Yeah, they're 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 not going anywhere. Right over here, we have Earl Venus. He's wanted for 37 cents of unpaid child support payments. Let's do it. Part of me wants to just keep adding more and more traveler trailers to this to see how many we can get going. Now, there is eventually a top speed that you can get to where the travel trailers start to give the vehicle the giant death wobble, which is what we're kind of seeing here. Oh, this is great. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't think it would be quite so bad. I was wrong. Oh, look, a piece of the travel trailer got stuck on the hammer of justice. Wouldn't you know it? Well, maybe the truck will make it through because now it doesn't have any excess weight. Um, that wasn't exactly how I was expecting the travel trailers to get released from the... Okay. That was a square hit. That actually moved the sledgehammer. The sledgehammer got hurt there. Oh, our, uh, our truck got obliterated too, by the way. Just realized that over here. I think our dummy may have died from fluid shock impact. Um, it doesn't look like there was a lot of damage to his side, but the rest of the car is so destructicated that I feel like there must have been a substantial hit here. All right, three travel trailers. This is starting to get ridiculous, but let's see if we can do it. I also put dummies inside of the bomb squad because I had forgotten before. Oh, no, 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 no. If they start to, oh, it's starting to fish tail already. Oh, mother of God. Oh, this is awful. I don't know if we're going to make it to the hammers. I'm probably gonna have to set this up a little bit like ahead of time, you know what I mean? Like before the, okay. Alrighty, well maybe one of the, maybe one of the bomb squads will get through all this, this sadness. You never know, actually the one's doing fairly well. There you go, it's got the timing down. It, never mind. it totally does not have any timing down. And it gets worn like a hood ornament for a short time by the hammer. All right, you leave this to old gray. I told you I'd get you there one way or the other. We're gonna get this here without fishtailing. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's everything I had oh, ever dreamed of. The carnage is real, man. The second those hammers take even a slight glimpse of the inside of the travel trailers, they just get liquefied. Ooh, look at this. We've got a contender right over here. Never mind, no. We don't have a contender at all. I don't even need to put nukes or anything inside of these. They blow up just fine all on their own. Oh wait, look at this. Our truck. It's still going. It's gonna make it. It's gonna make it. This is incredible. I can't believe this. Oh, just one more. Yes, and the truck makes it through. There's basically nothing left but one quarter of one of the travel trailers, a piece of the travel trailer is being worn like a tool rack across the back of the bed. And we have one very prideful test dummy over here and he should feel pride because he made it through this impossible course. All right, it's getting pretty obscene, but I've got four travel trailers now. <laughs> the rope, whoa, no, the lead car got smashed. Usually it doesn't happen that way. Here we go, hold on. Let's get right up in here so that you can really appreciate. Well, oh, the engine was caught on there. That's nice. It took the engine from the truck and then used it like a mace to beat down the rest of my road train. That's fantastic. The road train at this point, spiraling completely out of control, didn't make it very far. And now we have some issues. 
because the police are coming in and they too are going to get blasticated with part of my car or maybe not. Look at that, just the front end over there got tagged. Some of the rest of it though gets stopped by the road train, one bomb squad vehicle making it through, the police showing resilience. <laughs> I was about to say, maybe not enough resilience. Over here, this is what you never want to see. You don't, you don't want to really go like timed too well. You just want to barely miss the one ahead of you. Because if you time it right in the middle, this is what usually happens right here. It catches this one. And that is a direct hit. Lot of damage. Flex tape ain't going to fix it. Everyone is going to be sad. No, that's a lot of damage. And like I said, since you guys are always asking, here's Jimmy Jackwagon trying to fly a freaking plane through a bunch of spinning hammers. His crime? He didn't really have one, he's just an idiot. This really seems like the worst idea I think I've ever had in my life because you can't really autopilot these things, you have to drive them. Oh my God, we're making it through. There's no friggin' way I can do this. Oh, it's working. Oh, thank you God, okay. If I do this, you gotta give me props for it. Here we go, okay, there we go, there's another one. Made it through. Just kind of, I'm doing this with one hand on the slowdown buttons and the other hand on the control. Oh, crap. Well, I mean, maybe the fuselage will make it through. Ow. Yep. There goes half of the jet. So if, if the if the rest of the jet makes it through, does that count? Like if I had a dude over here in the cockpit and he manages to get past. <laughs> Slash totally made it through. Well, the cockpit made it through. I'm sorry. The rest of the plane got obliterated, but the cockpit made it through. It is on fire, but we did it. Can't even bring the freaking landing gear up because this thing's all over the place. We're doing it full speed. All right. Maybe doing it at full speed was a uh, was a bad idea. This is where, as a creator, you think to yourself, maybe I should just cut out the secondary failure and let everyone think that the first time was the best and only trial. And now it is time to find out if speed is indeed the key to getting past the sledgehammers of sadness. Over here we have Max Wankler. He's wanted for not having the Schwartz with him. Let's do it. The time has come to see the pinnacles of speed and agility. All of these vehicles can get upwards of 250 to 300 miles an hour. Look at that, right past the first hammer. It's incredible. In fact, ludicrous speed is probably a little bit faster then the Australian police. Man, is it moving. Now the hammers only get a fraction of a second to connect with this thing before it is gone. But I was gonna say, there is the potential that it runs into one of the hammers, which is probably the, the easiest way of getting it obliterated. Now right over here, you can see two of the Australian police still managing to survive somehow. This one looks pretty bad. And in fact, it is bad. Right on the dummy side and the dummy goes flying. The front end of this vehicle to get shaved off, but it may have enough vehicle left to make it through the rest of the course. It's just a matter of whether or not it can kind of scoot on past the rest of this sadness and if it can still potentially move. Let's see. Right over here. Uh, yes. It's still mobile. Somehow it's still mobile and it does get past. Now the Spaceballs vehicle did get past, but I think Oh, oh no, that sucks when you're giving someone a high five through your own windshield. All right, folks, that's going to be it for this episode of BeamNG Drive, where we got to put giant road trains and a bunch of other crap up against the sledgehammers of sadness. If there's anything else that you want me to try, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. If you want to make the YouTube machine happy, go ahead and uh, try and hit a hole in one with the old like button. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>